Hey there, Gemini. Welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you are new to the channel, welcome. It is very nice to meet you. And if you're returning, what's up, guys? So this is going to be your spirit monthly message for July 2020. Yes, please keep in mind that time is an illusion and energies are fluid. So just because this is dated for July of 2020, it doesn't mean that it absolutely has to resonate for you at that time. Yes, whenever you're guided to watch this or any reading, um, and it resonates for you, then that's the message for you in that moment. Also keep in mind that this is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. And finally, I will say, if you're looking to dive down into the archives of anybody's channel, including mine, I recommend that you pay more attention to the title than the date, because the title is going to give you a feeling of resonance uh, in terms of, oh, wait, something's gonna, something about this is going to resonate with me. Yeah? Okay, cool. All right, Gemini, um, so let's dive into your pre-shuffle and I don't want you to, to take my demeanor as like something really negative or bad is happening. I just, this just feels pretty serious. So, okay. Nine of pentacles is the first card that came out for you. And actually this is the only card that came out face up. I have eight other cards here, not including what's underneath the deck, uh, the overall energy. All right. But all eight of the other cards came out face down. So the focus here, Gemini, what I feel like is happening right now for you is you are learning to develop a sense of independence and autonomy in your life right now. OK. Um, and, and look, that's no easy feat. It's not. And that's why I feel a little more serious about this for you right now, because it's like this. Ooh, Okay, no, this is, this is, this is some real talk. This is some real shit. Like, this is not going to be easy. Or at least if you're already deep in the middle of this, it has not been easy. Okay. You have started you off with the three of swords, the four of wands. There could have been a family situation here for you or a situation in which now you're finding that, oh, well, let me say this. You have the moon and then you also have the king of swords. So there could have been a, I, I'm hearing specifically, there could have been a family situation involved here. That was fairly heartbreaking that you had some involvement with. I don't know. Take it as it resonates. Or there's some sort of foundational. There's some sort of foundational issue within yourself that I feel like you've been in the dark about. Whatever this is for you, you've been in the dark about. You've probably been in a good amount of denial about it. You might have been lying to yourself about it. Others may have been lying to you about it. Um, there's just deception here. Okay. Not seeing something clearly, maybe not being able to see something clearly, oh, but right. But then next to that is the King of Swords and the King of Swords is, is saying to you, Gemini, it's time to start seeing something for what it truly is. If you ever really look to have any sort of independence and autonomy, meaning you are not dependent on anyone else other than your own self then the best thing for you to do is, is stop lying to yourself, first and foremost. Stop lying to yourself, Gemini. Something needs to be seen for what it truly is. And that is the first lesson in developing or cultivating autonomy. Being able to be truthful about to yourself about any given situation. And for those of you that are new to my channel, you don't, you do not know, but I recently moved from Brooklyn to Puerto Rico. I live here in Puerto Rico now. And there are roosters and hens all around me. Y'all hear that rooster going off, right? It's time to wake up, Gemini. I, I, okay, yeah, be easy on yourself. Yes, Gemini, be easy on yourself. But first and foremost, you got to stop lying to yourself. You have that. All of that with the Queen of Cups, the Empress, Death, um, and then the Queen of Swords. Yes, be easy on yourself, Gemini. You have to, you have to get in touch with your emotions. You have to learn about, about your emotions. You have to see how you really truly feel. You have to get down, did you have to dive down into those dark, 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 murky waters and start to Allow yourself to become aware of what's truly hurting you, what's truly bothering you. For some of you, there are these tendencies that you've been expressing 
that have roots in emotional turmoil, but you won't do the deep diving necessary to get in tune or in touch with your emotions to understand why this is happening. With that, you have the Empress and that's the universe saying, coming forward and saying to you, look, baby, you, you've got this transformation that you need to go through and I am here. I am here to unconditionally love you at all times. Even if the people around you are not going to give that to you, you can trust me that I will always give that to you. Which is also your higher self saying that too. But you have, you are being swaddled by the universe in a little cocoon so that you can safely go through this transformation. But God damn it, Gemini, you have got to make this transformation. Queen of Swords, we're not fucking around anymore. We're not playing with you anymore. It's time for you to start seeing things as they truly are and acting accordingly. King and Queen of Swords. Okay? Whatever that means for you. I have to pause because I gotta use the potty. Okay, sorry, Gemini. All right, cool. So that was your pre-shuffle. Did I, I don't know if I mentioned, but you have the, the magician at the bottom of the deck here. So you are, you are, you are capable. You are a master manifester just like the rest of us. Don't let anybody tell you anything different. Okay. But also, I feel like this is saying that you, whatever is faced this opportunity that's in front of you right now, you act, you absolutely did manifest this yourself. So if you're trying to place blame on anybody, sorry, honey, you can only place blame on yourself. <laughs> okay. See it for what it truly is, Gemini. All right. So, let me get one more shuffle here. Okay, and let's see what we have for you. Yeah? There we go. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Geminis, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for the month of July 2020. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Gemini, here we go. I'm going to give this five shuffles for you and then we'll see what we've got. One. Two. Four, my Gemini. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the month of July 2020. Three. Oops. Let's try that again. Three. Sorry, I'm looking at my hair here. I feel like I have triangle head. Four. <laughs> Whatever. It's still cute, though. And uh, five. For my Gemini. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the month of July 2020. All right. Let's cut the deck. Boop. Okay. Overall energy. We've got justice, or you've got justice. Okay, so Gemini, look at that. Look, look, look here. See here. You have justice coming into your life. And some of you, or maybe some of this justice uh, is not going to be exactly favorable. But I will say that whatever justice is coming into your life right now, it's really going to help you Ooh. All right. For some of you, it's going to help you get on the straight and narrow, if that's something you resonate. It's going to help you set the record straight. Um, it's going to help you... It's just going to clear up the discrepancies so that you can really like start to live from a better point of view, I guess you can say. So, okay, look, some of this justice is representing some mm, not-so-fun karma. But, hey, I mean... I'm hearing comeuppance. Okay, all right, look, but you got to go through it. I mean, you get back what you put out, right? Hopefully you've learned that lesson at this point so that you're not putting out anything else to get more of this nasty karma. I'm not saying that everybody's dealing with nasty karma. I'm not even saying that all of it, when this justice is fully, 
you know, doled out in your life that, that you're not getting any beneficial or good karma either. Okay? Underneath justice, well, there you go. The justice that's coming into your life is leading to a new start. Ace of Pentacles. Good. Underneath the Ace of Pentacles, okay, is the Two of Wands. And underneath the Two of Wands is... <sighs> the star. This is good, Gemini. No matter how it may look on the surface, because I know some of y'all are looking at this justice card like, holy shit, man. It's like, no, 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 chill. Chill, 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 chill. It's all good. You are being given a seed by which you can regrow your harvest. It is your choice how you want to plant that seed. Make sure it's in alignment with your heart and your soul this time, right? I do feel like, I do feel like for some of you Geminis out there, man, the universe is hitting that reset button for you. Well, but you deserve it, Gemini. You do. Because to some extent, you've been doing the work to get yourself here anyway. Whether you are aware of it or not, whether you want to admit it or not. This might have something to do with a court case. We do have justice here. Okay, but see now, if this does have to do with a court case, justice, y'all, uh, justice, Gemini, y'all know where I'm going with this, right? If you're about to get your slate wiped clean, or if you're about to get exonerated, or if you're about to get uh, uh, a sentence reduced, or if you're about to, I don't know, be released, something like that, you are literally being handed a new start, Gemini. Don't fuck this up. It's your choice. What you gonna do with it? You are being handed a seed by which your next harvest will grow from. What you gonna do about it? Okay. First set of surrounding energies for you, Gemini. In the first half of your reading, you have... The Eight of Wands, this is good. It means that the air is clear. It means that you've got clear and open opportunity to move forward, to take your action, to move in the direction that you really wanting to be going. This also could mean communication, but I just feel like, yeah, because you have the Two of Wands in your overall energy, and now you have the Eight of Wands. Two and eight make 10. 10 represents, would be the Ten of Wands, would be burdens, right? I feel like, a lot, of a lot of burdens are being lifted off of you. A lot of weight is being lifted off your shoulders, so much so that you feel like a brand new person or you feel like the air is completely clear. There are like no obstacles standing in your way. This is good. Eight of Wands is coupled with. There you go, the Six of Swords. So yeah, the air is clear for you to move on with your life, to leave whatever trouble has been breathing down your neck behind you. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Gemini. The Knight of Pentacles. Good. See, no, no, no. Look, check it out. Slow and steady wins the race, Gemini. And to be quite honest, with this new opportunity that you're be giving, that you are being given, excuse me, this Knight of Pentacles energy is your best friend. Because this Knight of Pentacles is here to remind you that you can't force a seed to grow any faster than it is naturally meant to. You can't, you, it would behoove you to not cut any corners here because the Knight of Pentacles ain't trying to, ain't trying to skip nothing, ain't trying to cut no corners, ain't trying to do anything half-assed, nothing. I ain't half-assed and nothing, says the Knight of Pentacles. You want to know why? Because he's so meticulous and so yeah, perfectionistic in many cases, could very well be Virgo energy, but he's so meticulous because he doesn't want to get to his destination only to find out that something wasn't done right. And now he's either st got to start over from the beginning because it's that delicate of a process or he's got to double back and go back, go back and do that shit again. Uh-uh, he ain't trying to do that. So he's going to make sure that every step is done correctly. 
before he even thinks about moving on to the next step. And then once he's decided, okay, yeah, you know what? You know what? Everything's good here. He's not just going to jump on to the next step. No, he's going to go back to his plan book. Okay, let's see what's next here. Aha, this is the next plan. This is the next step in the plan. Okay, and now I'm going to plan this one out, this out a little bit more. Okay, what do I need to prepare for? But he hasn't even started moving yet. You see what I'm saying? This is your best friend. This energy, at least. Knight of Pentacles is coupled with. Lord have mercy. Patience of temperance. And actually, both of these cards are messages of patience. The Knight of Pentacles being the minor arcana version of it. The temperance card being the major, major arcana version of it. You cannot rush anything here, Gemini. Nor do you want to. I promise you, Gemini, you don't want to rush this. You don't want to rush this. Uh, Gemini, you don't want to rush this. Your challenge. Is the King of Pentacles. The first thing I heard when the King of Pentacles came out is stand up for yourself. And I understand why it would be that. Um, but here's the other thing about the King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles is well-rooted, well-grounded, stable, st sturdy, and secure. And is also secure and stable within his or herself. Okay? This is not... Uh, no. This is not gender-specific. This could be a woman. But the, it's the message of the King of Pentacles that says he knows himself. He is sturdy and firm and secure. Even if he doesn't have millions of dollars, even if he doesn't have a nice big house with a fancy car and all that shit, he is still stable, grounded, and secure and knows exactly who he is. But that's your challenge. And that it, it's because of that that I heard stand up for yourself. Because the, the King of Pentacles is not going to back down. He knows exactly who he is and what he stands for. That is that rock. That is a mountain. The King of Pentacles is a mountain that you cannot move. You're going to have to go over it. Right? That's your challenge right now. Getting your stability. Getting your foundation. Finding that, that autonomy and self-sufficiency in the Nine of Pentacles that came out in your pre-shuffle. That's your challenge right now. It's going to be a long and arduous process. You cannot rush this an oak tree think about how how long it takes an oak tree to grow to full maturity decades you can't rush that it grows those layers layer by layer year by year. it takes decades there ain't no rushing that right if you want to stand, if you want to stand sturdy like an oak, Gemini, you're going to have to put in some work. You're going to have to be patient. You're going to have to be consistent. Mm. Page, uh, I'm sorry, not the page. You are actually kind of in a page of pentacles state, but the king of pentacles is coupled with, ah, the fool. Ah, mm. and you know what? I was just saying, you're going to have to be patient you're going to have to be consistent. You're going to have to do the work. And then the fool came out and I heard, you're going to have to do something radically different if you want a different result. 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 So you're going to have to take a leap of faith, Gemini. Yeah. <laughs> Closing message or potential outcome for you here in the first half of your reading. Whoop. Them roosters be calling, honey. It's time to wake up. There you go. Judgment. That's your wake-up call right there. That alarm is blaring. No, this is good. No, this is good, Gemini. This is good. This is so good. You have a chance to, quite frankly, Gemini, you have a chance to recreate yourself. To build yourself a whole new existence. You are being handed that seed. Judgment is coupled with. Oh, Gemini. Are you serious? The Four of Cups? Are you fucking kidding me? Don't miss this opportunity, Gemini. 
That's all I have to say about it. All the work you will have done will be th literally flushed down the toilet. Gemini. Please, Gemini. If for no one else but your own damn self, please do not pass up this opportunity. This could literally change your life for the better. Oh. Oh, Gemini. That worries me. That's scaring me. I don't like that. I don't like that, Gemini. And I think part of what this is saying, Spirit is saying is, don't pass up this opportunity again. Because it may not come... Uh, okay. For some of you, it may not come back in this lifetime. This very well be, may be your last chance to try this again in this incarnation. If that resonates for you, if that is triggering you, if that is hitting you in some way, then that message is for you. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to move on to part two, which is going to be over on Patreon. Um, you have, if you would like to follow me over there, I would really greatly appreciate it. You have two options, tier two tiers. First tier is $5. You get access to all of this part two of spirit monthly message spirits monthly messages the second tier is seven dollars a month and you get access to everything that i put up on there all right including love messages but with that said i'm gonna leave it there thank you so much for tuning in i hope this was helpful for you if you would like a look into your own personal situation please don't hesitate to email me all the information is in the description box below uh, and if I don't see you over on Patreon, I wish you, I hope you have a great month. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading for the month of August. Yes. Take care. Bye.